What was it about trying to find the deep laws of physics, this unified theory that could drive somebody like an Albert Einstein with that kind of intensity, that kind of passion right up to the very end. If you go out at night, you see all the stars. You know, you see that rich panorama of the universe and you get that feeling. There's got to be an explanation for all the wonder that you're seeing that has the same power and the same insight as the experience that you're having. And I think that certainly was part of what drove Einstein. Brian Green came in from Columbia University to talk to us about string theory. And this was part of our continued science outreach uh, that we wanted to bring science to the community. And he came in to talk to us about uh, Einstein's dream of finding a unifying equation to describe the entire universe. It was fantastic. The enthusiasm that he brings and the passion that he clearly has for the, for the subject is, is enviable. And here's where Einstein was different. He wanted to figure it out, figure out how gravity actually works. You know, Dr. Brian Green represents the new generation of cosmologists that are really legitimately continuing Einstein's work. So my students are exposed to it. They, I feel, really do understand it because he is so good at doing exactly that, presenting very, very complex ideas that the layperson can understand and, and can appreciate. Notice that space is flat when there's nothing there, but if I bring in the sun, the fabric warps. And if you look in the vicinity of the Earth, the Earth also warps the environment around it. I thought it was inspiring. He presented a really interesting problem that you can perceive more research being in there, more problem solving and excitement in the future. Not, not everything's known, and that's exciting. My message was that the universe is a spectacularly wondrous place, and if you're willing to put in some effort, as great scientists have, you can get fantastic insights into the nature of reality, ideas that can really blow your mind and change your sense of how you fit into the larger picture. You look at the opportunities we have going forward, you look at the challenges we're going to face, almost all of them have science at their core. So I do not see how you can have a healthy democracy if people are intimidated by the ideas of science. So part of what I do is try to go out there and show people that they can get these ideas, they can understand them, and in that way they can really be part of the journey. Continue your journey at College of DuPage's STEMCon 2018. This free event celebrates science, technology, engineering, and math, and takes place Saturday, April 28th in the college's Physical Education Center. For more information, visit cod.edu slash STEMCon.